Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This right here is Sharp's 32 inch HD Smart TV. This is the Q5000 series and we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. All right, so I do need to invest in a, what is that? A knife because I don't have a knife. So I got this TV for, I believe a hundred twenty dollars inside of the box we do get the remote control and it's actually a regular sized remote control it's not a tiny little remote control it feels nice and it does look pretty clean it's got the YouTube button right here it also comes with the screws so you can screw in the stands and then two AAA batteries when I'm slamming stuff on it all right, here we go, we got the TV. It's quite light, it's made out of plastic, you know. This is a budget-friendly device. And this is a 32-inch TV, like I said. Let's go ahead and set it up really quick. I got the screws. This is how the legs. gonna have to go buy a longer screwdriver. Size does matter. Here we go. So, set up. Ta-da! I just plugged in the TV and this is the first ever boot up. So I gotta set it up. Everything looks good. Except That's cool. That's a storm mode. Mode. Okay. Let me connect to the Wi-Fi. Was successful. Start to use. Cancel. Don't want to do that. So I gotta upgrade the software on this. It should take me home. Let's see. Okay, there we go. So these are all of the apps that it comes pre-installed with. Right here we got Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube TV, Pandora, iHeartRadio, and all these channels or apps I've never heard of. Cool. All right, let's go back. There's a notification. The UI looks pretty nice right up there. It's got the AccuWeather and we got the date and time right over there. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to set up the AccuWeather for the weather to pop up. Let's try to do that. Nice. This looks nice. The system is being upgraded and it's downloading in the background. All right, restart now. It's got the window smiley face, upgrade successful. All right, there we got the weather now finally and the time the Wi-Fi, everything, the UI is clean. Let's check out YouTube from the YouTube app. All right. I'm gonna skip it for now. Is this real? Yo, this movie, I cannot wait to watch it. You have no idea Look, what's coming. Wow, the speaker on this sounds amazing. For the price and for the size of this TV, that is crazy. Guys, that is crazy. It comes with DBX TV award winning audio technology, and I believe that I have this TV right here. This speaker, the speaker on this TV sounds better than this LG TV right over there. Look at that. 
I can't wait to watch that movie. All right, so you see, I can browse through my other apps while the YouTube is still playing in the background. If I just hit this button right here, it's gonna go back to the YouTube. And then I go home again. All right, there we go. As you can see, the camera, I mean, what am I saying? As you can see, the remote control comes with four buttons right here, Amazon, Netflix, Voodoo, and YouTube. So I'm watching, well, I'm checking out the weather right now, and then I wanna jump into YouTube, just press the YouTube button. Voila. This TV is nice for $133. I think this is a great TV. Of course, this is not a full HD TV. It's not a 1080p TV. This is a 720p TV. And I'm gonna be watching it from at least five feet away. It's not a big deal for me. It still looks HD to me, HD enough to enjoy movies and videos, you know? You know, of course, 4K TVs look awesome, but it's 130 bucks, man. This TV's awesome. And the speaker on this is incredible. These are all the ports, USB to HDMI, audio and audio out. We also got for the antenna right over here and a LAN for your ethernet. Also notice the viewing angle on this is just as good as my cell phone. This has great viewing angles. Well, there you have it guys. This right here was Sharps HD Q5000 series TV. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this TV, do let me know. And until next time guys, peace.